Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how you can buy Monero using your credit or debit card. Now Monero is a private cryptocurrency unlike Bitcoin. Bitcoin is fully transparent and it can be traced. So if someone knows your Bitcoin address, they theoretically can look it up and see when you have bought it, if you're still holding on it and if you have already sold it or even spent it. Whereas with Monero, this isn't the case. You can think of Monero like digital cash. And so one once you have your Monero and you're going to spend it or do an exchange with someone else, it isn't traceable. So only you and that other person know about it, but that's it. And so the most private way on how you can buy Monero would be from someone else in person or on an exchange where they do offer peer-to-peer. -peer. But this can become quite complicated, especially if you're being completely new to cryptocurrency in general. And so this is now where I want to show you a step-by-step -step guide, which is not the most private way. I do have to emphasize this, but it's a simple way on how you can get started. And then there are other ways on how you can make it more private, or you may want to look into a peer-to-peer -peer exchange in the future. And so if you are interested in further videos about this, I'm going to do them in the near future. But now I'm going to keep my focus on a simple step-by-step -step way on how you can buy it. And so I'm going to use an exchange which is called Change Now. Now Change Now does not uh, require an account, like you just can use it on their website. You do not need to sign up for anything and that's it. Um, you can uh, combine, it, combine it with your credit or debit card and they do ask for verification such as your ID card or passport or driver license. Then they ask you for a selfie and your phone number or even email. Now this would be it. This is still a lot of information for a privacy coin, but that's what I meant. You always have an entering point like cash. So if you're going to pick up cash, you have an entry point, but then what you're going to do with your cash is going to be private. And the same would apply to Monero. So you have an entry point. If you're going to use an exchange like this, where they do require some verification of your identity, but then what you're going to do with it later on is basically none of anyone else's business. It's basically just up to you. And so this is now what I'm going to show you. I'm going to use a change now. If you want to use that exchange as well, I'm going to leave the link in the description box down below. Now with change now, um, you can see right here on the website, the setup is very similar uh, to any other exchange. They're always very similar uh, based on how they look. And right here on the top, you have all the information that you need and it's going to guide you through the entire process. So the setup is pretty easy. And so on the top, it says exchange crypto or buy and sell crypto. Now we just want to buy it at first. So we are going to click on buy and sell crypto. Now on the top you have the fiat currency, like your local currency. On the bottom you have cryptocurrency. And this can be adjusted depending on where you live. So currently it says US dollar, for me it would be Euro. Then I'm going to click on Euro and I'm going to adjust the amount that I want to like turn into Monero. So they do have a minimum amount as well. So if you're going to put in a lower number, it will tell you right here on the bottom minimum amount for Euros is 75 Euro. And this is going to adjust depending on the currency that you're going to select. So I'm going to go with 75 and then on the bottom, it will tell you how much Bitcoin in this case it will be, but we're going to change it into Monero. So scroll down until you see Monero. They do have other cryptocurrencies as well, but we are just going to keep the focus on Monero. And then this would be the amount that I would get when I'm using Monero. And so then I'm going to click on buy. And then it's giving you the overview again, and now it's asking you to enter your Monero address. Now, to keep it as private as possible, the best way would be downloading the Monero wallet, which you can get on their website. If you want to download it, I'm going to put the link in the description box down below. But as of now, I'm going to go with my Exodus wallet. If you do not have a crypto wallet yet, I'm going to link a video in the top right corner. This can help you to set it up, and then you can come back to this video to do the entire process. So on your crypto wallet, if it does accept Monero, select Monero and then click on the receive button so that you can see the address and then copy it or even use the QR code depending on how you're doing it. And then you're going to enter your Monero address right here. Now it's going to give you a payment offer, which is important to emphasize. Sometimes it will give you two payment offers. Sometimes it's only showing you one, which depends on the amount that you're going to spend or even maybe the cryptocurrency. So currently it says Gardarian and Simplex. 
Now, please check who is giving you the best offer. In this case, Gardarian is giving me the best offer right here. With Simplex, I'm going to lose more Monero. Simplex, I so far just had difficulties with it. That's why I wouldn't recommend it. However, if there isn't any other option, then select it and see if you can get it through with me. I always get stuck at some point. With Gardarian, I haven't had any issues. Therefore, I'm going to choose it. And once you have chosen it, click on Next. Then it's giving you the entire overview again and there you can check your address again if it's the correct one that you have entered before you're going to click on confirm. So, and now you can go through the payment method. So first of all, it's going to give you an overview again, and then it's going to ask you to select your payment method. So in this case, it would be Visa and MasterCard. And then I'm going to click on, I have read the terms of services, and then I'm going to click on continue. Now it's going to ask me to enter my email address. Once you have entered it, click on confirm and then set details. Now it's going to ask for your phone number. Enter your phone number to get the code. So, and once you're done with the verification part, it's going to bring you to this site right here. Now, the verification part can be done in a few minutes. However, it can also take much longer. And sometimes it's going to tell you that the time is up, that you have to reset the site and that you then need to go through this process again. And then when going through this process again, the verification may have already been accepted and then it's going to immediately bring you to where you need to enter your details about your car to do the transaction. And so this is now the page that we are at. And so I'm now going to add just my details in here to continue so that I can get my Monero. And once you have filled in the details, you're going to click on pay. So now once you're done with the payment, it will tell you success. It will tell you that it's confirmed and there you have all the information that you need to know again. And it's going to now do the exchange. Now this can take up to a few minutes, but it also can take a bit longer. So if you do not see the funds immediately in your crypto wallet, don't panic. Just give it a moment so that it can do the transaction. Now I just received my Monero and it took about a six minutes more or less. If you do not receive it within that time, don't panic, just wait a bit longer. Now once you receive them in your wallet, then they are not immediately spendable since it needs to go through the confirmations until you can send it away again. Now if you have the Exodus wallet, you can see right here, it even does mention it that it's still pending the photo confirmations and that it can't be sent. So this is basically what I meant with it wait a bit longer for about half an hour until the confirmations are through and then you can use it again. Now there's one more point that I do want to emphasize on their website which I just used and this is the transaction ID which is like the numbers right here. Now you can copy it and use it if you should come across any issues while doing the transfer and then contact the customer service right here on the bottom and then give them your transaction ID so that they can look into it to solve the problem. Problem. And so then this would be it for the website because then it says that it was a success if everything went fine and if the exchange is completed. And so this is now what I wanted to share with you on how you can buy your Monero using a credit or debit card. And I do hope that you enjoyed it, that you find it helpful. And if you did so, please don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it. And if you now want to know more about how you can hide your IP address, how you can set up a private email address and even transfer your Monero now onto an exchange and exchange it into other privacy coins, well, then you will learn more about it in my videos that I'm going to link at the end of this video so that you can keep on watching. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye!